this one to find the x-intercepts, we're going to start off right away factoring that trinomial. So it's x squared minus 2x minus 8, meaning we put the x here and x here. What two numbers multiply to negative 8, add to negative 2? That would be negative 4 and positive 2. Multiply to negative 8, add to negative 2. So again, for the x-intercepts, it's what's going to zero this out, meaning what's going to produce a y value of 0. So what you'll notice here is there's actually going to be three values of x, right? First, I can make x 0. That's going to make that one 0. It's going to zero everything out. So 0, 0 is one x-intercept. We also have for this one, what's going to zero that out? Positive 4. And then what about this one? It's going to be negative 2, right? Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Now, when we come to the y-intercept, you notice we already know the y-intercept. The y-intercept is when x equals 0. Well, guess what? It's that point right here. And we're only going to have one y-intercept for a proper function, right? So this is our y-intercept as well. It kind of doubles as an x and a y-intercept. So there's your answer.